What's up guys, Cameron here from Drums and Drams. Today we've got another episode of Whiskey Wear. This time I'm in a hotel room in Buffalo, New York. It's kind of a boring place, but I have a few samples with me, a few blind pours from Sarah that I'm gonna be able to uh, use to shoot a few episodes of Whiskey Wear while I'm out of town. The reason I'm in Buffalo this week is because I'm performing with the Buffalo Philharmonic Orchestra. It's Friday right now, and this morning we actually played a Friday morning concert, which is a little bit weird, but pretty cool. You can get it out of the way and go on with the rest of your day. I figured I'd come back to the hotel, uh, have a little bit of lunch, leave the suit on, sit down and film the first episode of Whiskey Wear while I'm out on the road. The reason I mentioned that I'm able to film a few of these is because before I left home, I had Sarah pour me three different blind pours for Whiskey Wear episodes, but instead of actually bringing those bottles with me and trying to deal with not seeing what they are and not touching them and feeling the bottle shape, I thought she could just uh, take some pictures of those bottles, put them in envelopes and label them. So we have corresponding envelopes that go with their sample bottles here. She said they're not in any particular order, so we're gonna go with sample bottle number two. So I'm gonna pour this thing out, give you some quick notes. I'll give it a loose, uh, non-binding rating, make a bottle guess, and then find out what this is at the end of the video. While you're here, hit that like button. And if you enjoy this uh, whiskey wear content, which is a little different than what I normally do, subscribe to the channel for more. Here we go. Let's check this out on the nose. Got a nice color to this whiskey. Looks like an American whiskey. Nothing, nothing crazy, I would imagine. But let's see what we get on the nose. Yeah, right away, I think this is a bourbon. There is kind of a cough syrup candy type note to this, a little bit of like a Robitussin vibe going on. Yeah, good brown sugars to this though. Really, really nice sweetness. I would say this is reminding me right off the bat of possibly a 1792 product. It could be Brown Foreman. And while there might be a hint of banana in here, I'm, I'm not thinking that there's enough banana for this to be maybe like an Old Forester product or a Jack Daniels. Proof doesn't seem crazy. This might be around like a 105 to 110 kind of proof. Feels like it has a little bit of age to it as well, which is nice. As I come back to the nose, I'm getting a little bit of a baked bread. I'm still like, I can't get it out of my mind that this could be a 1792 product. I'm very possibly a Four Roses. In fact, now that I say that, this could end up being a Four Roses uh, barrel strength pick. Let's check it out on the palette now and see what we get. Cheers. There's kind of an off note in here, something a little bit chemical or maybe a little bit rubbery. You know, this could be, this could be the John J. Bowman single barrel from the aged and or travel decanter at home. Um, it feels a little higher proof than that, but it's giving me that rubbery note that the travel decanter actually gave to the John J. Bowman, which is one of my favorite single barrels of that product that I had at home. Sarah and I put it in there a few years ago and the rubber cork has just tainted that. So I'm gonna go out on a limb with this guess. I know I said the proof feels like 105, could be 1792. I'm gonna say maybe this is a, a John Jay Bowman because of that weird chemical note. I'm gonna, I'm, gonna go, uh, I'm gonna go 80 on the rating. I'm gonna go down to an 80 out of 100. So let's do the final reveal now and let's see what we get. All right, here we go. Hope that wasn't crazy loud on the microphone. Ooh. Okay, well, that's actually a really nice bottle. Um, and pff, this is hilarious. My tasting notes make sense. And I actually am pretty pretty spot on with, with some of this. So this is a Joseph Magnus single barrel pick. It's an OHLQ Ohio liquor pick from I think 2019. It's 13 year MGP if I remember correctly. And it's, it's at 106 proof, I said 105. Uh, age on this, I don't think I actually gave a specific age guess. I would have been around 10 years. If I do backtrack, this is 13. So, you know, kind of close on the age. But what we have here is MGP. In this case, that chemical note that I talked about, I honestly think that's just the oak. I think the oak here is so intense and there is a little bit of that kind of Robitussin cough syrup cherry thing going on that it comes off a little bit chemical. So that's it, that's the review, 80 out of 100. Joseph Magnus, single barrel. That is whiskey wear from a Hyatt place, Buffalo, New York. I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.